Welcome back to the channel. So next up, we'll be hopping into a topic that came in by request. And I wanted to highlight that here really quick at the top, because if you guys have any stuff you want me to cover in the channel, by all means, feel free to send them my way. A bunch of the recent stuff we've done actually have came in just like that. So like the OBE book came in like that. The alcohol and lucid dreaming thing came in off a question. Same with the smoking weed and lucid dreaming. And then with this topic as well. So what we'll be covering here is going to be about extending REM. And that's a topic that I've brought up you know, a lot throughout the years here and there, but I've never actually dedicated a series specifically to, which is another great reason why it's great to get these requests in because it's a great idea. It just never crossed my mind to make a series strictly dedicated to it. So that's what we'll be hopping into next. Also, this series will probably be a bit on the shorter side. So by all means, feel free to send any requests and maybe we could um, cover that topic next. But I guess the first thing to say here when it comes to extending REM is that lucid dreams really only end basically in like one of, two ways right where in order to get lucid you basically have to stay one step removed from what's going on right you have to realize you're dreaming and then maintain that perspective because if not you'll get wrapped back up into the dream basically confusing it with waking life and you know lose your lucidity but then the dream will keep going on that way so that's basically not what we're talking about here what we're talking about is the other way and that is where you stay lucid all the way through the end of the dream and when it comes to that that basically ends in one of two ways as well, where either, you know, you're lucid in the dream and then you get too excited by it and then you cause yourself to wake up, which is something that happens a lot to a lot of early lucid dreamers, but it happens a lot throughout your whole practice as well. So that will be um, one side of it. And then the other side of it is where you actually stay lucid through the entire sleep cycle, right? This 90-ish minute chunk, then REM will want to end. You'll rise back up through hypnopompia, basically like a lighter stage of sleep, and then you'll sink back down into the later stages. So that's the other angle of it, and that's the other angle we'll be um, diving into next.